we are talking about okay so we are talking about microservice to monolithic architecture okay this was the topic which is monolithic to microservice architecture using docker okay now what is my monolithic to microservice architecture what is monolithic application what is microservice application okay can anybody tell me anybody is having any idea about what do you mean by micro monolithic or what do you how many applications are there in market just let me know first how many type of applications are there in market okay so web application is one of the application what is the other application mobile application correct what is the other application desktop application right so google chrome is a desktop application or a mobile application it's a of course it's a both both applications no it's a desktop application right google chrome as a software is a desktop application not both google chrome is opening lot of websites this zoom okay the website which is a web application correct now this whatsapp which i have opened here this is a desktop application but whatsapp also have that web right whatsapp web you can also log in with browser correct that is a web application and you also have a mobile application correct you also have a mobile application so um so there are multiple kind of applications okay web application desktop application um mobile applications correct now having said that so there are we can we can understand that how can we architect that application okay what is the architecture of that application is it a monolithic application or a microservice architecture okay so if we consider about think about a website let's consider a website which is flipkart.com okay flipkart.com so flipkart.com what all modules will have in flipkart.com if we consider suppose flipkart.com is being written by lot of developers okay one developer is writing an application in he is writing a login module other is writing a sign up module payment module or sign up module payment module maybe okay or product module from where they can go and purchase the products another guy is writing a payment module okay there are three modules think like that. so then when this developer is writing a code he will be suppose writing flipkart is whole written in java so they will write the code and they will push the code to github what is github a kind of a remote code repository repository okay if we consider it very in simple words think that this is a local database this is a this is a local go down where lot of different manufacturing unit are developing small small parts in their local go down they are keeping it which is having a local repo okay local repo and once that is done they will push it to the remote go down a central go down okay which is your this so local repository 
remote repository every developer will have their own laptop they will develop the things in their own local laptop and they will keep it in their local laptop so i will use suppose if i am a developer i will use visual studio and i will type i will develop this piece of code and i will develop and i will keep it in my local laptop that is local repository okay till this everyone clear anyone who didn't understand till this tell me guys is it clear what is local repository yes sir yes sir anyone who didn't understand clear, sir, clear. raise your hand okay so now if local repository is clear they will have to push it to the remote repository where all this piece of code will be going so suppose he is writing login.jsp this guy is writing product.jsp java sublet pages okay payment.jsp all this piece of code will be going here in a remote go down and all this piece of code will be here login product payment now this piece of code will be built there will be a engine called build now once you keep all the raw material in a remote go down will you keep all those raw material in a remote go down no right you will have to have your assembly workshop where you will assemble all those and create a final product so there is something called build where you will pull this piece of code and you will assemble all those things okay assemble a kind of a work workshop where you will pull the code the raw materials to prepare a finished product the finished product is suppose var5 we think about a car manufacturing unit think that this is all small small manufacturers one is preparing engine one is preparing the bonnet one is preparing the other parts okay tire and all all these are coming here in the remote go down and in the workshop people will work assemble all those and then a car will be produced and then this car will be shipped to the showroom where my actual customers are coming customers will not go to the workshop right they will go to the showroom and they will they want the finished product so this particular this particular showroom let me change the color here this can be container or virtual machine or physical machine now what do you mean by container physical and virtual tell me what do you mean by container virtual machine and physical physical like your laptop is a physical machine similarly suppose flipkart.com went to market and purchased a physical machine but that physical machine is only one machine now i want to run multiple website there i can create multiple virtual machine here in one machine only have you installed vmware in your laptop virtual machine of vmware same thing yes. is yes sir now inside this particular virtual machine you can run a container further because virtual machine is again a kind of a machine which behaves like a complete operating system and all it's a heavy weight or you can run it here okay so either you can run this var file in this physical machine or in this virtual machine or in this container okay so what is container so let us consider first physical machine so physical machine means you will install what will be present inside physical machine tell me cpu operating system memory and storage this is the main part what is the difference between memory and the storage can anybody tell me 
memory is a ram and storage is a hard disk very good so memory is ram what is ram why do we require ram why it don't it is like uh, speed which shows the speed of uh, because it's a fast thing it will talk to if it is talk talking to storage storage is a disk which is a slow if it talks to storage it will be slow the overall system will be slow so it requires a fast faster something where it can read and write the input output the io will be fast correct the input output will be fast the io will be fast so that's why memory so cpu will always talk to memory and then memory will talk to storage so memory is a volatile storage is a persistent store memory correct persistent means it will be permanent memory is a volatile correct now this is understood very easy now this is your architecture so build means assemble okay we will assemble it and we will get to we will get the var file now this var file consider this example okay now we are talking about monolithic application guys okay monolithic we are trying to understand what is monolithic application with this workshop our main focus is to understand what is monolithic microservice architecture okay with the help of docker how can we do this so understanding the concept is the main important thing how can we do this that to we will be able to do by when we are in a class okay when you all enroll for the class we will be able to do it but agar tum log concept hi nahi samjhoge means if you do not understand the concept that why we are doing all these things okay then there is no point which is missing in all the institutes we don't want to miss those thing okay that the whole point of this workshop is to explain you the reason behind monolithic and microservice okay so focus here in a diagram very good now we will explain that problem so here if you see the login the product the payment all this is assembled very tightly what is var web application archive this particular archive is tightly coupled coupling this login product and payment and running it here in the server to run this var file i will install suppose tomcat because if you need to open browser if you need to open website you need browser if you need to open any any file you, you need a notepad plus plus similarly if you need to open or run a var file you need a software which need to be installed here who understand this var that is your jvm java virtual machine that can be given by tomcat or web logic or web sphere okay or jboss all these are your application server these are all middleware tech stack we can consider as a middleware tech stack okay tomcat web logic fspr jboss okay anything so my var file will be copied here this var file is tightly coupled with each other means if i draw like this okay that people will log in first so um, people are coming here they will log in first they will they will go to product and then they will go to payment the last section is payment and then they can be order and all those it keeps on going but then log in product payment samajh mein aaya pehle aata to log in mein aata then product mein jata then payment mein jata clear okay first login then payment this is a monolithic application now if suppose for some reason think that my this is gone my this payment is having some bug okay so it is all running fine one fine day this guy has done some change and he has pushed the change here that is assembled a var file created and then it is deployed but then this payment module is having a bug what will happen now 
because of this bug, everyone will be impacted. Correct? The whole application will be impacted. Because now if I have to fix this payment module, means if developer need to fix this, they need to again change the code and they will again assemble and war file will be created. Again, it will be deployed. And once it is deployed, the existing application, the existing sessions will be going. Suppose a customer is customer already in a product page and he wants to pay, do payment, but then as you have already, as you have to do bounce and other things, things will not work. His session will be expired. Again, he has to log in. So your CEO will say, Are boss, payment may problem hai to login ko kai ko rokte. Means if payment is having problem, why log in? Let them allow them log in, no? Let them allow product. Let them choose the thing. Then payment. Okay. So fix payment issue, but it should not be impacting other things, other modules. This is first reason. Okay. Second reason. Payment, this developer, suppose a product developer is not a, is a junior developer. He has not written a code perfectly. That code is having some problem. It's a, it is giving memory leak. Okay. There is some memory leak. It is consuming lot of memory. All the RAM is consumed by this particular product. So payment and login is very slow, but product is consuming all the memory. So what will you do? This is the problem again. Correct. So now if you have to fix this issue again, you have to, because these are all tightly coupled with each other. All these are tightly coupled with each other because of product, all this module will be impacted. Correct? Am I clear? Can you restrict this particular product that, okay, no, I will consume only that much memory. No, because this is single war. This is single war file. This single war file have all the three pages. Now you cannot restrict page wise. Okay. That this is, this will consume this much of memory only. Correct. Everyone will be impacted. Understood. Yes. Okay. I can put that as a cluster, right? Pardon? I can put that you know entire war into cluster, same as what we do for microservices. You can put it in multiple cluster, you are saying, right? Multiple nodes. Right, as a cluster, yeah. Yeah, you can put it, but still, when you keep in cluster, that is more problem. Because in your cluster, you will not run only one website. You will run 20 other websites. If this product page is consuming all the memory of that particular server, then this product will be consuming cluster means one more server. Maybe in a Docker itself, Docker VM. No, I mean, the Docker to I am discussing. Okay. So let's. Yeah. Can I not pack uh, monoliths in Docker? You can do it in Docker also, but then what is the point then? Okay. If you are doing that way, then you are not at all using the, the, the actual flavor of Docker. Since I have given you apple, but then you are not eating it like an apple. You are eating it like a guava. So then, <laughs> then the what will happen? So it's like, I have given you one functionality, but then you are not using it. You're using a gaming laptop, but you are not playing games there and you are just watching movies, then why do you, why you, why you in first place, you brought a gaming laptop, you, you buy a normal laptop of 30,000 rupees to watch a movie. Correct. Fine. This is what I'm explaining. See, if you can do with one tool, a lot of things, but then not necessarily, you will not do everything with that particular thing. Every tool is having some reason. We have to follow that reason to do our task. Again, I'll repeat guys, flipkart.com developers writing the code. They are pushing the code to one GitHub repo, one GitHub repo, one GitHub repo. Okay. Assembling it. War file is getting created. That is getting deployed. Maybe it is getting deployed in three servers, but then all the three servers will be impacted because everywhere this product page is there and it is consuming memory. 
that means the problem is still there and you have to bounce the application okay and for this product all login product payment page will be impacted now how can we resolve it so this is there in our document when you join the course okay we will be giving you the docker activity guide and all those okay everything will be having here documentation okay a proper documentation okay with the projects so we we teach everything with respect to project there are total 28 projects in our class okay 28 projects one of the unique course two and a half month to the course i will give you cv with respect to those project not a tom dick harry cv means i will not give you any other cv okay use it which other institutes do no okay we give you a real cv with respect to our projects whatever we have done share your story go for interview crack interview like others are doing with 100% hype okay in 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 india there is people are paying okay 6 lakh ask for 14 lakhs okay a kind of a magic is happening nowadays in one year again okay? people are cracking like huge amount of salary people are paying again okay? devops at least now see this so this is the first problem which i explained you one module is impacted lot of other modules will be impacted what is the other problem other problem is see this problem code works fine in my laptop okay a developer is saying an operation guy girl this girl is saying there is some problem with the code with this example see so developer will develop the things in their own laptop so maybe this developer is having java 7 in his laptop he has developed the thing it is working fine in his laptop now he has pushed the code everything works well but in the server in this server we have java 8 maybe in this server we have java 8, 7 but in this we have java 8 we have three servers and this customers this customers will access the website with the help of a load balancer everything we are creating manually so when they are going to this particular website this servers java 8 servers it is erroring out okay maybe for this customer it is erroring out for this two servers for this two customers it is erroring out three customers for these two customers it is passing okay because these two servers these two customers transaction is going to this server but other three which is red that is going to this servers so java 8 this server is having java 8 and this guy has having java 7 in his laptop so whatever he has developed it is working in his laptop but when it is going in the server in the production it is not working and this kind of clash will happen this kind of blame game will happen in a company this is called chaos okay in a company lot of times this will happen developer will say boss code is working fine in my laptop operation team will say no it's not working in the server and they will fight in a bridge call okay and there will be a war room in a war room they both all will fight okay means diplomatically okay obviously they will fight now how to break this wall both are correct developer is also correct production girl is also correct now how to how to fix all these issues we are developer develops in an environment which is similar like production and it will be very faster easier to access means production guy operation girl should not take much time to give that and development team should not take much time to test all those things before they push to production how can they do this with the help of this architecture see this we'll have we will we'll be writing a docker file 
with the help of docker file we'll create docker image we'll we'll create a container out of that image we'll test that everything is fine we will push it to docker hub a central database where image is stored and now from this database developer will also take out take out the image production girl will also take out that image and both will use the same image that means the developer who is developing the code he will also use java 7 and all these servers are also java 7 nothing is manual we will not install things manually here the image will be all similar means the the development image for unit testing unit testing not integration testing okay the development server for unit testing and the production server or the integration servers whatever the all is similar so most of the issues you can mitigate in this case that also you can use or solve with the help of docker okay so all these solutions can be provided with the help of docker these are two issues which i have discussed there are other issues also okay other issues like if you want suppose this product page product module is not getting used much payment is not getting used much but login is much more okay so how can you scale login module more how can you give more resource to login and okay fine i will give more resources to login my login containers will be more okay how can you do that at a granular level okay so like this so if i draw an architecture monolithic means everything will be in same login product payment but then microservice means it will be like this okay there will be here if login is more i will have more containers for login product is little less okay we will have lower scale payment is further less so i can assign memory here maybe 50 mb memory for all i can restrict that that only 50 mb memory i will be providing every container will take 50 mb memory not more than that every product container will take 20 and 200 mb memory not more than that also limit the cpu that 0.5 cpu only it will take not more than that understood this is how you can do containers that's why people are using microservice architecture this is microservices correct one service the whole thing suppose think like this is one login dot var this is product dot var this is payment dot var maybe payment is good in php so i will not I will not write payment page in java but i will write in php login is good in java so i will use java product also i will suppose i will not use in java i will use suppose node js payment is a node js so you can use different skill set different tools maybe you can write in golang something which is faster more threads are there okay so different which you cannot do in monolithic but here you can do you can integrate one service with another service you can divide those chunks login will be this product will be this payment will be this 
maybe this is a tomcat container this is a node js container and this is a php container you can create three different technology container and push it in the docker hub and can use it and integrate this that's the benefit understood who didn't understand this raise your hand krishna what is web application archive like zip when you zip normal files it will be dot zip var means you are archiving a web application web application website think that you are archiving website okay web application archive bolo kisko samajh mein nahi aaya i will talk sometimes in hindi guys i think that that is like a bumper that is like a, so that you if you feel sleep you will wake up <laughs> okay is it very boring are you understanding guys so you can limit the resources okay you can you can limit the resources you can um, create the testing environment staging environment production environment faster you can keep all those your see this is infrastructure as a service right your docker container you can can be created with the help of docker file okay so the, the docker file you can keep it in github so everything is there in github it's kind of a file so that's the power of learning docker okay understood so let's do one exercise okay as you all have joined and as this is a workshop we can do an exercise but um, i i really don't want to show all those exercises why because it will be little confusing because you don't know the basic commands of docker okay so for understanding docker you need to know docker commands okay i can show you some basic things okay let let me start something okay let me start a server so everything we will be doing in aws guys okay aws so if you are interested okay if you all are interested you have to the classes are starting tomorrow 8:30 am okay and if you are interested you have to enroll i'll just give you a brief about the class okay this is a project based course curriculum there are around 28 projects 50 to 55 hours we will take i'll give you 5 years of experience a knowledge experience okay once you do this once you have this knowledge i will give you cv that cv you can use to apply job something like this we will be having on slack we will be giving you cv okay this cv will be aligned with the projects which we will be doing okay that's the most important thing then we will be giving you documents for each and every like ansible project docker activity guy docker compose okay docker swarm like this and if you have any issues you will discuss here in the slack channel okay like this guy is having issue this girl is having an issue okay this girl was like a very fresher she didn't even know okay anything about linux or anything now she see she is doing so many good things okay she know chef she know ansible she know docker she know kubernetes so so that kind of thing okay we can actually change we can we can give you that power how it will be done not by me okay obviously it will be done i will be just a facilitator but then it will be done with the curriculum the curriculum is much more advanced guys okay it is a very advanced curriculum okay i know it's very late it is very less time for you all to think but then you can join from tomorrow if you wish those who are interested you can um, you can just and ask them shriman it to get the link okay join the link at 8:30 for few days okay and if you like it enroll for it okay because i teach only two okay two sessions per uh, per two month okay this is to 3 and a half two and a half month course and generally in two month i will start one class okay so don't 
okay again i will say i'm not boosting much but then this curriculum you will not get because every curriculum will be project normal curriculum but this is a project based curriculum okay where we will have multiple projects all the project diagrams will be shown to you like this i have explaining here there will be i will be explaining you those diagrams and then we will be doing step by step this first project will be completing in 20 hours the next project chef will be completing in 10 hours okay where we will go from depth okay, everything in detail we will understand but with a reason without reason we will not do anything like chef we will understand with a reason we will understand like a pushpa movie a pushpa movie came in amazon lot of people are actually seeing that movie and then i want to scale that server because more customers more cv uh, more servers okay so how can you do that that kind of example we will do and we will understand chef okay so this many things we will have to see we will also see like this example like we have multiple websites all these websites are spending 200 dollar per month how will you merge all those websites into single for for the for showing you the cost cutting example this project is a one of our minor project it is here okay c.2 cost cutting in your company and merging multiple sites into server to save infra cost okay we will be doing this exercises everything we'll be doing in cloud so you will understand cloud also is there any coding language required no no coding language required do you need to know java no do you need to know python no you need to know python scripting if you want to do automation if you want to know terraform scripting that you can do if you want to know uh, linux shell scripting that you will be able to do it here okay you will know all those things but not coding is not required even i don't know coding okay so this is a power pack course for you to give a clear path okay finding a good good curriculum with a project is very important okay and this is a very advanced and matured course i am teaching this from last so many years and modifying i started with five projects and now there are around 28 projects here okay and today i found today only i found that there is another project i have to actually change because that is expired now okay so again i will be adding one more project by removing that other project so this the last major project this is now expired okay seventh project this project so so like this we keep on modifying this curriculum and all this curriculum whatever we will be teaching it's very powerful okay why because you will be understanding first project the ideal ideal way of teaching is first explain the project uh, what exactly i am going to learn or what i am going to implement then you understand the topic the tools and then you integrate those things with the help of project but generally what happens in institute they directly go with git maven and other things and then you don't understand like why are we studying git why are we studying maven because you never integrate all this and you will integrate all these things at the end and by the time end will come many people will leave the job class they will think okay no i don't want to join okay i don't have time something happened something happened so so we don't do that so we we, we teach we explain the project first the diagram the understanding with each and every topic then we'll go step by step with the tools and for understanding the tools also we will have projects which is minor project to understand tools minor project and all to to integrate all these tools simple the ideal way of teaching okay that is the way so okay so now i think see sriman it has already given you some link you can actually talk to them i would request sriman it sriman it is it possible for you to create a whatsapp group or yeah there is a whatsapp link given to all of you guys okay click them click that and join uh, ask them a link for tomorrow okay because that is the first class for tomorrow you can join for free if you want two days okay and then you should be enrolling for it okay 
so today to complete our class the workshop okay let us do it quickly okay i have i might have started the server and it is up now so this is our server so let me copy the code copy the ip let us log into the server i will show you this everything okay how to create how to have this profile how i am trying to log in how will you be able to log into the server okay so this is my virtual server which i have rented from amazon so again this is not aws devops okay this is devops on aws now you can do this whole exercise in azure whole exercise in google cloud also this is called infrastructure as a service okay that means whatever we are doing this will be in this is infrastructure as a service okay we can do the whole exercise in any cloud okay we will create an infrastructure from scratch okay so let me let us do this this is my docker node one node where i can get a public ip for this by running this command so this is called linux terminal guys okay those who are freshers for them i will explain from zero level zero in a class okay don't worry you will be able to log into this kind of a server from your own laptop you will be running a command to get a public ip public ip means any device your mobile device will have an ip i will my my laptop is having an ip similarly everything will have an ip address okay so this is having an ip now i can install something here suppose i can install apache like this okay so i will install an apache like you how will you install in windows you will download something you will double click on exe next 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 here here we use yum okay yum is a package manager which will install the http which is an apache now once i install apache i can start apache you will be doing these things by your own you will get the public ip copy this public ip you will go to the browser you will hit and give 80 enter and you will see this page so this page which you are able to see is from this virtual machine now suppose if i want to this is from the virtual machine right now everybody will not have access to this virtual machine and all now what i will do i will create a image a small image out of it okay with the help of docker so uh, first of all i don't want to see this i will i want to see something meaningful i will try to go to this particular path here it is saying if you want to customize that you may now add content to the directory so go to the directory to go to the directory you will have to copy cd this and then suppose if you go and create a file i will explain you how to do all these things in our class because this is a dem workshop i have to go and show welcome to class and now if you refresh it and see you are able to see welcome to class okay whatever i will write here you will be able to see that so if i suppose type mentimeter dot com and suppose if i copy this view page source and i copy this code and i copy paste this code here now see my i will create a website similar looking mentimeter okay now let's cancel this 
now this is my website right if i refresh it so this will be looking look like it the look and feel will be like mentimeter now i want to dockerize it means i want to use microservices the docker tool to do this okay how can you do that see here only one service is there which is httpd i am doing this one only okay now tomorrow you can have 20 services like this apache product and like this 20 services and you can dockerize all those things okay so if you see here when i give a corporate training here this one see ui business logic data access here ui microservice and microservices and pods so the the you have divided this particular thing into apache catalog customer order all these are one one microservices you can do this way okay so similarly first we will do apache okay here apache then tomorrow you can do catalog customer order and we can integrate all this okay in our in our exercise you will we will do in our classes we will do this particular exercise with the help of kubernetes okay so let, let us dockerize this okay how will you dockerize you will use docker command okay so currently it is here right this one so we will use docker command docker there is a command called run yes sorry for disturbing you sir yes in our uh, training we can deploy microservices by using kubernetes or docker see docker is a docker is a tool to create this container that's it but kubernetes is a tool that will manage these containers the whole the all microservices it will, it will give a platform so that you can integrate these two things okay so kubernetes we will use and in that kubernetes will use docker also so kubernetes to main hai and the docker to main hai a kubernetes will be just a facilitator so that this docker containers will talk to each other and now if you want to scale you can use a kubernetes command to scale these containers now from 6 there are how many containers 1 2 3 4 5 6 you can 6 to 60 you can do by using a kubernetes command kubectl command okay that we will be doing in our class okay see in one hour we can't do each and everything you can understand right the main purpose as i explained you at the very beginning of the class main purpose is to explain you the concept of what is microservice what is monolithic application why monolithic application is not good nowadays and people are migrating towards microservice architecture clear okay so that's the thing fine cool so let, let us do this let us let us do this exercise okay what are we doing currently see you can uh you can use docker file to create an image see this is a docker file where we are doing where we are creating an image by installing a doc apache and all Okay, you can do this way. Okay. Maybe let's do this way only so that you will all know. So we will create a Docker file where we will copy this particular command. I will explain you in detail what is all these commands. What is what are, what is the meaning of all these things? Like what do you mean by copy? What do you mean by add? Okay, and all this. Now here. I have one something called index.html. This particular URL, right? I will try to w get that URL. When I do this, let me delete first existing one. My current website looks like something like this. Okay, if I refresh it, it looks like this. Okay, welcome to xyz.com. 
now currently this is coming from this virtual machine host name this virtual machine inside this my html file is there now i am dockerizing it means i am containerizing it i am creating an image out of it okay how i am creating an image with the help of docker file okay so this is what i am doing if you see the exam diagram okay this is very hard to explain in just one hour but then i i am trying very hard to give you a clear picture so we will give we we'll, we are creating a docker file with that we will create a image okay so docker file now we will create a image how to create a image docker build dot minus t okay and we will give a name suppose x y z v1 learn okay this is giving some error why because it is trying to find out one proxy file okay we will delete this file let me delete this file uh, to, to, to. dd dd yeah this is good okay now i will run the docker file suppose i will run this command now you see what happened when i run this command an image is created docker images see this image is created this is how much mb 386 mb the size of this image is 386 mb now i will start this image see docker file to docker image now i will create a container to test this okay so docker run it okay or give d i will give port mapping maybe i will give 81 and 80 and then i will use this image v1 i will also give a name to this container x y z run now this particular container is running how will i know docker ps and see this particular container is running it is so fast to start see if you want to start a server how much time it took for me maybe five maybe two minutes it took for me now i just started a container it took how much seconds not even microsecond right there is no boot time here now why docker containers don't have boot time you tell me okay that is again a different question because it is not having its own kernel okay fine no problem it is started now the port which is it is using it is 81 okay so if you see the diagram if this is by server Three, four, five, six. Now this or this container is running at eighty one, eighty port, and here it is mapped with host port which is eighty one. Now if suppose I have to make a URL, I have to make a URL like this. HTTP three four five six eighty one. So customer will go here, then they will go here, and then they will go here, and then. this page will open so this is by port mapping so everything will be explained to you in detail right okay currently we are not doing anything in detail we are doing just i'm just giving you a demo okay so that you should know how things work so now this is this is a url which works at port number 80 so now why it is port 80 again that will be explained to you in our class when we start from level 0 now if we do 81 see this is also open 81 is also opening 80 80 port is also open this page so this particular thing what is opening which is opening this is from container and this one is from virtual machine okay if you stop the virtual machine if you stop the if you stop the service in the virtual machine 
okay this will not work because you have stopped the application in the virtual machine error connection refused but see this is working correct this is from your container now how to change this container url from this ip colon 81 to something meaningful like xyz.com when somebody types xyz.com this page should open how will you be able to do it i'll i'll show you okay in our class so it's already 804 so if you have any questions you can ask now if not don't worry okay join the class let's do it from zero guys okay from here excuse me sir okay and be able to complete all these things okay excuse me sir yes सर मैं अभी इसी श्रीमान आई टी में डेवॉप से एडब्ल्यू सीख रहा था हाँ जी बोलिए तो तो मैं गिटा और गिटा के पास अभी चल रहा है मतलब मैं मैंने अभी अभी शुरू किया हम्म तो मैं अभी आप जो वो वर्कशॉप लेने वाला है या जो जो भी प्रोजेक्ट आप करने वाला है ये सेशन में आगे वाला तो इस कोर्स okay. में लेने की कोई मतलब जरूरत पड़ेगा बट lot of people will join or do some classes and they will again come back to me because mine is a project oriented training okay mm -hmm. it's up to you okay you decide this is again lot of hard work is there okay means it it it, it requires a practice guys every day you have to invest your one or two hours okay complete the projects because we will have target every day c.1 mm -hmm. to c.3 we will have to do all these projects the more mm -hmm. the we do the more the experience we get the more the things we can put it in our cv real life and go for job this is a different methodology of teaching methodology is not topic oriented obviously it is topic oriented but then project ke through se samjhayenge mm hmm hmm समझाने के लिए नहीं समझाएंगे मींस इफ आई हैव टू जस्ट एक्सप्लेन यू ओके मैथ्स ए प्लस बी होल स्क्वायर मींस ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर प्लस 2ab आई नॉट एक्सप्लेन दैट वे आई लाइक आई विल गिव यू अ रियल लाइफ सिनेरियो दिस ए प्लस बी होल स्क्वायर इज यूज्ड एंड देन वी विल गो टू ए प्लस बी होल स्क्वायर एंड देन वी विल सी द फार्मूला एंड वी डू मे बी द सेम थिंग यू आर आल्सो स्टडीइंग बट देन यू माइट नॉट नो द रियल कॉज ऑफ इट Mm. when you go for any holiday destination you will pass by a very important monument and you don't know what is the importance of that till the time you have a someone who can explain you that right yes sir guide sorry. correct so i i am that guide and our okay. methodology is different Excuse so me. having said that join the class from tomorrow because i have tied up with shriman it You yeah to talk to them to get the link join the classes for few days maybe you can take the classes for few days and if you like it continue the classes prepare your cv in two and a half month what are the timing sir job that's it to 8:30 8:30 is the time from tomorrow sir 8:30 okay. to 9:30 or 10 Oh, eight thirty to nine thirty. Every day one hour will be too much for all of you, because again, this yeah, yeah. lot of things we will study in one single shot. It's not like that. That Linux, study. Today, 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 Linux, Fine. Okay. So, what is the fees about this? Main or the fees? I don't know. Means they will. Means generally, 
we charge 25000 for this project oriented training okay because this is job based training means completely job based means once you do this project based and then you do python scripting and terraform scripting from us no one can stop you to get job okay this is like that vanilla ice cream on aws and then we will put some choco chips which is terraform scripting and python scripting complete ice cream is there no eat it okay it's very planned guys okay this is what i am saying it, it's an entirely different methodology to crack a job in just two and a half month or three months numbers okay with a no need to take any proxy no job support not required okay with complete understanding the timings so up to end up same timing so you know 8:30 to 9:30 right same timing one timing only i have the one time okay some people are saying for 8 am okay we might move to 8 am but it depends again because i don't want to wake up early okay i wake i have i'm having vertigo some yeah. But the regular timing is eight thirty to nine thirty after the end of the course. Yeah, currently it is eight thirty to nine thirty. It will be eight thirty to nine thirty only. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Then you all revolt and say eight a.m. Okay, that is what eight thirty to nine thirty. Fine. Okay. This is my time. Uh, Rahul sir, I have a few doubts. Can I ask now? Go ahead, ask. I have some time now. Uh, just one second. Uh, the duration you told like two and a half months, and uh, how many projects will be going to cover here? Total twenty-eight uh, from... projects. Okay, so all are it is uh, like completely practically with the document and the commands, everything you can everything, show. Everything. Everything will be see. I'll again share. Till C point three, you will not get document. From C point four, you will get all documents. Why are we giving till C point three document so that? you understand my mind my telepathy should happen right whatever i am saying you should understand that document bole to puppet jaisa nahi hona ki main diya tum kiya main diya tum kiya aisa nahi okay how will you be doing see here all documents we are sharing if you go to files okay you will be added to the classroom files will be there everything will be there so it, it it's like this see documents will be sharing this is a past class okay from 3.3 3.4 okay okay like this chef major project and all all the projects but then till c point till c from c point 4 we will give till this we will not give purposefully because we want you to prepare document document preparation is also one of the major job in it if you don't know how to prepare sop we call it as sop then as a devops engineer it will be very difficult for you to survive okay see lot of different kind of students will come some will have communication problem some will have they will know technology they don't know how to speak they don't know how to express that okay so i have, we have to take care of everything so that as a whole you get a job and once you get a job you will refer 20 more people this is not one time activity okay we we want to do this because we you, you all get a job okay and we want you to get a job okay by doing this many projects by giving you cv and cv will be aligned with projects okay kahi se kisi ka copy karke nahi hai aligned with a project जो भी प्रोजेक्ट किए हैं जो भी प्रोजेक्ट करेंगे वट एवर प्रोजेक्ट वी विल बी डूइंग सिमिलर काइंड ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट सी वी विल बी शेयर टू यू बाई दिस बाय द एंड ऑफ वन मंथ ओके वंस वी शेयर द सी वी यू विल स्टार्ट अप्लाइंग जॉब अगेन क्लियरिंग द जॉब इज नॉट अ जोक यू विल यू विल नॉट बी गेटिंग जॉब लाइक इन ओनली इन वन थिंग दैट फर्स्ट फर्स्ट टाइम ओनली यू विल गिव इंटरव्यू एंड यू विल क्रैक अ जॉब नो यू विल हैव टू गिव एट लीस्ट फाइव राउंड ऑफ योर योर इंटरव्यू interviews you have to give by your own okay don't take proxy interview don't take that okay school teachers are cracking job guys okay so you will be also able to crack okay uh, here i have one more question like uh, devops tools uh, training also will be cover only this is the project oriented training so which kind of training this is uh, 
let me ask you this if you want to go to holiday how will you go tell me tell me step by step approach if you want to go to holiday how will you go you will first decide the destination right you should know what exactly you want to achieve now what is happening in devops interviews or uh, devops classes they will start with git they will go for maven they will go for jenkins they will go for something but then you are going for tools 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 only tools 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 you will see but then tools hi padhna hai to youtube se padh lo yaar okay why do you want to understand tools of or by spending this much of money okay tools is there i i can't do projects without tools we will also go in depth from starting with installation starting with everything see this docker activity guide if you see okay i am also going with docker installation i am also going with script okay not just with docker installation with normal we will also go with script normal manual and then with shell script we will also go with all these things with the packages and with the but then but then but then it is not just just tools first you need to know why you want to study that okay so first we will decide explain you the project as a project ko dikhate like today i started docker in my existing class of 8 no 11 am okay you okay, go here first i will explain the project so this is the project which we have done in past that was different now this is another project we will be doing company is saying because we are in a plot here in a drama so we will, we will say that company is saying that okay we want to dockerize an application because we want to save more money we want to have that we want to utilize the feature of monolithic microservice architecture so company is saying all these things so first we will have to diagram create the diagram understand this then we will see okay let us understand ansible because it is requiring ansible so let us study ansible we will go one by one step by step ansible tools wise okay with the document that's the reason it is taking 55 hours otherwise i can complete all this project in 10 hours if i just teach projects okay so it's not just project to answer your question it is first it's a process means it is a first i will explain you the destination then we will decide how to go and reach that destination by bus train taxi how will you go and then we will reach to that destination means first we will understand the project then we will understand the tools the prerequisite for this and then we will complete that project with the help of a tools and explain understanding everything from zero if you do not understand something pause unmute yourself ask me suppose if i miss i am also human if i miss something okay i didn't explain you that pause karo unmute karo poocho it is not school right no one is here you have to ask me i will answer if i don't know we will try to google it together we will have to answer that bas but we have to complete the project okay this is our main goal completing the project cool i hope the architecture the way of explanation is understood to all of you this is called project based training okay not just we will have in the last two three project that is called project based training no project based training means it will start with project it will end with project okay yeah tools will automatically come into flow okay and you use that project put it in your cv the easiest the fastest way of getting job with confidence okay this is what i have seen with my past students if you go to my and able to see how many people have got job okay see vasuda a lot of people have got job okay all those are some non it background so this satpal singh okay all these people have got job if you go we at house people when they get job and you will also be getting job with our different methodology okay cool thank you let's meet
tomorrow sir dakar sir one Dhaka. question sir what is the order of schools that you will be following sir in the process of our course pardon order of of the tools yeah. like we have so many tools jenkins curriculum na curriculum okay, okay. okay. see Uh, this is to... our curriculum. We will start with this, na. Project this particular first project. We will. This is the order. For doing this, I will draw a diagram. Okay, I will explain you. So these are my developers. They will push the code to GitHub. So I will have to study GitHub. They, then Jenkins will pull it. Then a server will be there. Now this server technology, I will have to install. Suppose Apache. Okay, and then I have to install Tomcat. So I have to understand Apache. I have to understand Tomcat. Okay, and then I have to understand that how this customer is going to reach this particular server. That means I have to have a domain. Okay, now what is this domain all about? Okay, how to buy a domain? How to point a domain to this server? Okay, this is like real life. Okay, how to point a domain to this? Okay, now this is only one server. Tomorrow I have twenty servers here. How will you have auto configure that twenty servers? मतलब एक server delete हो गया, next server is starting up. How will you auto configure that with the configuration management tool? People will say auto scaling in interview. Okay, when I take interview, auto scaling. But then auto scaling is just one feature. It's very easy. Okay, you can create one server. That's okay. But then how will you configure a server? That is the main thing. Creating a home it is very easy, but designing a home interior designing okay you go you have you went and you purchased a home okay that's okay but then designing that is the difficult part right yes sir yes sir got it thank you sir sir any migration kind of projects or scenarios from on premises to first project is migration only migration okay. of web application from on premises to public cloud that's the whole point we start our journey with migration okay Say that we have a application. So, we we need not to cloud study Docker Swarm, right? We will study Docker Swarm. Also, yeah. see on premise to public cloud. That's our migration. That's the whole thing. Then while we are doing migration, company will say, "I want to move my culture to DevOps movement, DevOps culture." Mm. No, why? Why DevOps culture? Fast development, fast deployment, cost reduction. then we will do these things and then we will try to start our story with this particular it's it's a complete story guys okay yes sir got it sir thank you so much this story will give you five years of experience that's it okay so i think enough we have yes, a lot of things here you will get the curriculum from shriman it i will share it with them if you don't my fee structure sir if you don't my Yeah, so ten minutes. Give us ten minutes. I will talk to Sriman Nighty. Okay. Give the details. Okay. I was actually only asked to give the workshop, but then as we are starting tomorrow, and you, if you join, the main intention to give you all free workshop is again you all know. Okay. To enroll yourself into our classes. Correct. That's the whole point. Correct. So so so. um i don't know if they are planning to start it from tomorrow or not but then if they are planning okay it's good you should join that's what my suggestion is join this join python join terraform prepare your cv with vanilla and the stroko chips okay as i explained you the story go for job nobody can stop you give your interview by your own don't take proxy mainly hyderabad is i don't understand why they take proxy don't go for proxy that is the worst thing you will do okay don't go for it okay i have seen people getting removed getting sacked from company like in a such a bad manner and that's a mental tension okay rather than that give three months to yourself study here and give your interview by your own and i can assure you you will be able to crack your interview from my past experience okay so lot of students have cracked interview you will be also able to do just you have to present it well complete all the projects with understanding do that 20 times okay doesn't matter you have to do it ek bar nahi hota hai do bar karo teen bar karo char bar karo karo project ko complete karo complete the project anyhow okay 
20 times without seeing the document, you should complete it. Then you see, okay, I have the confidence. Go for it. Simple. Okay. After one, we'll be able to interview. I can assure you this. Okay. Cool. Uh, fine. Thank you. I'll call. Final question, sir. Uh, where are you from, sir? I'm from Hyderabad. Right. Thank you. Okay. Cool, guys. Thank you. Let's meet tomorrow 8.30. Okay.